years. I mean, if I can drive it into my house, that would be a good shot. So push it all the way up. Yeah, that's definitely going to whack a little in there. Okay, hold on. Yeah, hold on. You're going to mess up the compressor house. Yeah, you're going to need to take the compressor house off. Just take it off. Okay, we can go racing. Without the turbo. Oh yeah, I mean that's aspirated. You're right. Why don't they come off? Are, are we supposed to be like really mad, like cussing right now, like pissed off? <laughs> I guess some I guess some people get mad and upset. <laughs> but in in the life of a race car, I mean it is what it is. I mean that's just the mentality you have to have when you're doing this stuff. So y'all get into comments real fast, and what do y'all think happened here? So um, Courtney's going to put in the, the the noise. The boy, the when when the car is pulled up, superb. Made four and a half, four point six, four point seven pounds of boost uh, in about three seconds. So really good. And then we heard a noise. We thought it was a belt squeak power or, steering. or power steering. That's what it sounded like. And so what do y'all think happened here? So um, you know we got to take. Well, y'all guess what happened? And Courtney is going to show you exactly what the deal is uh in this video y'all stay tuned don't go anywhere i uh, appreciate it guys i can't believe how fast that thing's pulled up well, we're on. We're on. Yeah, I tore up a set of beat locks and now last night and now tonight i have tore up the turbo Look at that, it's like the clearance didn't come right out. So there, perfect. Spin that wheel. I think that's fast. Mm -hmm. No, it, it just needs a, a compressor wheel. I have run them like that before that. Yeah, so this can probably just be, or that's just aluminum build up on it. Yeah. It'd it's, just be cleaned off. Yeah, it's fine. It, it's going to need a new compressor wheel. But I got to send them the whole turbo. We can't just put it on? Uh, They balance them. Oh. Um, it has to be balanced to independently. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I have taken it apart. I mean, Jose has sent me a wheel before, and I have put them on. So if y'all guessed. Man, I keep forgetting to be pissed off. Yeah, that's definitely going to be pissed off. Oh, okay, that sounds more like a grinding sound. <laughs> oh, man. We're back home. So, <laughs> I mean, if if we didn't tear something up or break something, all this dust all over my shirts from sand in the day, it's like it's like a kid. Um, if we didn't tear up something or break something, then it wouldn't be the paint and paper hustle, right? It wouldn't be this channel. So, as a lot of you guys probably guessed, um, the turbo touchdown. We got touchdown, Captain. She's kind of gnarly. Brand new. First pull up. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what what do you say? I don't know. So what how, why did it touch down though? Why did it touch down? Um, it hit the housing, but I think uh the part that hit the housing. Oh, let's see here, she's buried up in here. All the parts. Um, I think the part that hit the housing can be cleaned off, or at least it kind of looks like it. I got some cleaning up to do. Man, I got junk everywhere. Um, let's see here. So there's where it hit the housing. But it's like, it looks like that stuff will come off. Don't that look like a crack? It's not a crack, though. It's like sitting on top of it. I really don't want to take a flathead and try to pick it off or anything. But trust me, there it goes. See? 
sitting on top of the housing. So I'm not sure what this inner piece is made out of, but it is crazy smooth. Um, this piece right here is crazy smooth, like really smooth. So I think when that hit, that basically, basically the aluminum has, I, won't, I don't want to call it welded, but the aluminum is stuck to this aluminum. If this is aluminum, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so yeah, it's got to go back. I've got to get up with Jose, call force deductions and get this thing sent out. John said uh, we need to give him a call and see if I can send him just a center section and that piece because the exhaust housing is, you know, the solid, heavy piece of crap. Um, so I don't want to pay to ship that back. But we're going to get this thing off and get it touched, uh, sent back. But why did it hit? Does anybody have any idea why it hit? Why did this thing freaking touch down? I mean, it should not have touched down at all. Well, uh, the issue was was me your v-van clamp that goes right here when me and brandon built this kit um now i put this on brandon didn't put this on i don't want to like sound like i'm passing blame or anything brandon did not do this i did this i put this on if you recall brandon had the charge pipe and the housing uh for powder coat i went and got them back from him i come home and i put them on but what i was saying i just wanted to make myself clear is that when we built this I fitted up. He welded it. He helped me tremendously. Shout out. Greatly still appreciate it. Um, we just hand tightened a lot of the V-band clamps because we were taking stuff on and off, on and off, just like a lot of people do. So when you do that, and when you put together a new build like this, you got to remember to go back and tighten the stuff back down. Yeah. So I didn't do that. <laughs> um... I, man, I can't even make this stuff up. Um, I got the other ones just fine, but the one that mattered, we probably should have skipped like this one up here or something, but the one that mattered, the most important <laughs> V-band probably out of the whole freaking turbo kit, I didn't tighten down. Um, so all the revving up and stuff like that, uh, we had no issues. Somewhere along the lines, the bolt fell off. I don't know where the nut went, or the nut, not the bolt. The nut of the V-band housing fell off. I don't know if it's in the trailer. I don't know if it's in the rocks. I don't know if it's in my driveway. I don't know if the lawnmower is going to find it this summer in the grass. I don't know. But the nut exited the building. And when that happens, the V-band just that bloop. Popped open when John made all that boost, uh, which that thing, that thing, I had to ask John. I said, why are you smiling and laughing so much? Because I don't know what's going on. And uh, I said, is that good? And then we just make really good power. <laughs> and uh, he was like, yeah, that's really good. It's pulled up really fast. I was like, cool. <laughs> like, the car looks good. Um, so... Uh, the nut fell off and it made a lot of boost and it blew the housing off and when it blew the housing off the housing went crooked sideways and came in contact and had a fight with the wheel uh, the compressor wheel and so now the compressor wheel and the housing have uh, a couple bruises and scrapes from their altercation um, so we're gonna get this thing off I guess how do we make an entertaining video get it off I think we just take it off and send it out. That's what we're going to do. So, yeah, that's what happened. That's where we're at. This is going to set me back, uh, I imagine, a couple weeks. Uh, we were trying to make private testing March the 14th with this car, along with possibly Randy's car. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I don't think this car is going to be ready by March the 14th now, not with sending this back and then having to wait in line to get it done and then get it back. Uh, we cannot do the alignment and the scaling on the car. We need to scale the front of the car in order to get a very precise measurement. Uncle Mike wants to make this thing on kill. He wants this thing, to, as soon as it comes out the box, to basically be ready to roll. And in order to do that, he said that he needs very precise measurements on the weight on the front and stuff like that. So this car needs to be completely race ready. Fender's hood, whole nine yards on the scale. And so therefore, if we don't have the turbo on there, that's a lot of weight. Now we can guess at it, but we want this one precise. So more than likely, we're going to have to wait to obviously do all of that whenever we get, um, when we get the turbo back. 
Uh, I'm still missing a couple pieces. I think one item maybe for the front end, um, for the bump steer. And then we just got to finalize all the geometry and stuff like that and uh, set it up. So uh, stick with me. We're bringing back the salvage videos if you haven't heard. Uh, they, if Even if you're not interested, I put in a lot of little things in there. If you're car shopping, used car shopping, if you're wondering how body shops work, paint stuff maybe, if you're wondering how the salvage title works, what we find, what deals we get, what we pay for stuff, like all the mysteries, that's what the Paper Chaser episodes are all about. So uh, make sure if you see that Paper Chaser episode icon, that's going to be an episode of basically getting money. And uh, there's probably not the race car stuff in there. We'll try to keep the race car stuff separate. So if you're not interested in that stuff, you don't have to watch it. Uh, if the views are low on it, that's fine. I'm not out to pull high view videos. I just want to make content that's good, interesting, and that people enjoy. And I've had a handful of people request to bring them back. And so that's what we're going to do is bring them back. Uh, you can learn stuff, tips and tricks in them things. And you might see some stuff that you've never seen before in your life. And you probably would never see if you weren't on this channel because most people don't have the gonads or the stupidity to show the stuff that I will publicly show because I don't care what other people think. And I don't have nothing to hide with my business and I can just show it all. So smash that like button for me, y'all. And we're gonna catch y'all on one of the next videos. Thanks, y'all.